he was born in India, and when he was young, his friend let him borrow this book, a library copy of this book, and he was able to study it in detail, supposedly, and after that, he was able to like produce you know, mathematics and do things that normal people can't really do. I just got to give it a whiff here. Just, ah, yeah, smells good. His name was Ramanujan, and he was a legend. You know, when you think of genius, you think of Ramanujan. I, I do, I do. When I think of people who are considered, like, you know, really crazy smart, I think of Ramanujan. Some people think of Einstein. Yeah, I mean, Einstein was a very smart man. Um, but Ramanujan, I feel like his circumstances, and I'm not saying Einstein had it easy, but Ramanujan, he was poor. You know, he was a poor guy who probably struggled uh, for basic needs, yet he somehow found the motivation and the desire and the need to study mathematics. They made a movie about him. It's called The Man Who Knew Infinity. I saw the whole movie. And it's a good movie. It's a little slow. It's a little slow, which I kind of like. A lot of the newer movies today are really fast and like they're just, they just get more and more sensational and they're pretty dark and um, I like, you know, feel-good movies that are a little bit slow where they build the characters. And I feel like they did that in the Ramanujan movie. It's called The Man Who Knew Infinity. But uh, it's still pretty slow. <laughs> it's a slow movie, but I watched it because, you know, I'm me. And uh, I obviously care <laughs> about Ramanujan. So I did watch the movie. It's called The Man Who Knew Infinity. Anyways, this book uh, was led to him when he was, like, I think 16. Uh, his friend had a library copy and let him borrow it. So... Let's take a look at it. Um, it's available today. This is a reprint, obviously. This book is free. It's in the public domain, so you actually should be able to Google the book and find it. Uh, it is in the public domain. Look, it says it here, actually. It says it here. It says, as per information held with us in this book is in public domain. Yeah, so it's, it's in the public domain. It says, this book is a reproduction of an important historical work. And then Alpha Editions is the company that um, reprints the book, and I guess they sell the book on Amazon. So I'll, I'll leave a link to their version. There's different versions you can get, or maybe another version uh, of this book uh, in case you want to buy a copy. That's, that's where I got my copy. Um, let's just take a look at the contents of this book so you see what it actually contains. And you're going to be surprised because it's once you see this book, you, you really appreciate you know, what, what a genius he was and how smart he was because it's like, how could you learn math from this book? And I guess you could if you just had time and you had nothing else to do and you just had a lot of time and effort. You could probably learn something, but um, it's just a list of results. So you see how it says page? Okay. And then it has, well, it has page here. And then section two, algebra, right here. So I thought these were page numbers. These are not page numbers, okay? It's number of articles, is what it says. I don't know if you can see it. Number of articles. So these are results. So it's basically a book filled with results. I mean, look at all of these results. It's just like over 1,000 results, over 1,238 results, just mathematical results. So 1,267 to be precise. That's how many results we have in this book. So let's just skip to somewhere in the middle and see what we have. Let's just go through some of these results. So here we have some properties for logs. So this is something that um, you learn in basic algebra. So Ramanujan probably saw this, thought, oh, interesting, logarithmic properties. And here it gives you the definition. Log base a of n equals x signifies that a to the x equals n. So these are equivalent expressions, right? So this is called logarithmic form, and this is called uh, exponential form. And you learn this in an algebra class, and it's like brutal. The logarithm of number is the power to which the base must be raised to produce that number, right? And then that, that's all it says, right? There's, there's no examples. There's no like, here's an example with some numbers and let's make it easy and here's the answer. No, 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 no. Ramanujan just has, you know, something to write on, uh, hopefully, and, and something to write with so you can work on mathematics. I imagine paper, I don't even know if paper was abundant back then. I'm thinking like, was paper scarce? Um, I'm sure food was, right? He was poor, and he's trying to work on logarithms, and there's no examples. It just seems like a very, very difficult uh, situation. Not a very good environment 
for nurturing mathematics. And that's why it's so impressive to me because he came from, from nothing, you know? And he was able to do, mathematics was one of the hardest things there is to learn, you know? People consider math to be very hard. So you've got these rules here. Oh, this is the change of base formula over here. That's change of base. Then, oh, here we've got an example, like a, just a, it's kind of an example. They put C equal A, so you get log base A of A, which is one. That's by, that's by this rule over here. So that's probably how Ramanujan did it. He just went through the book in order. He's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. You know? So it does explain things. And, then it just, and this is by, by the previous. You can put a 10 here, right? And you just you keep working through it. Then we have the exponential theorem. What's this? And there's a proof. They're using the binomial theorem and the proof. So he's, so he's doing proofs already, you know? So and this is uh, Article 149. So this is, you know, he's worked his way up here. But it covers an incredible amount of mathematics. And then over here, you know, you have, you have infinite series. So think about that, right? It introduces the logarithm and all of a sudden you're dealing with with these series here. Nuts, right? Continued fractions and convergence. Yeah, so Ramanujan is known for a lot of like really interesting identities and stuff and things he created and results with continued fractions. There's actually books, uh, Ramanujan's, Ramanujan's notebooks. I don't own them though because they are so expensive. They are so expensive. And I just, I haven't bought them because they're too much money. This one is not that expensive. So that's why I bought this one. And this one has more math in some sense, right? Because it, it covers everything. It's like mathematics. It's a book of mathematics. The law of formation of convergence is successive differences. Wow. Let's, let's skip ahead here. Redu to reduce a quadratic surd to a continued fraction. Wow, look at that. So they take the square root of 29. Let's zoom in there. And then you add and subtract 5. And then they rewrite it that way. Wow. Wow. Looks like they did some rationalization maybe. I'd have to get a pencil, but I think that's what they did there, right? They square root of 29 plus 5 times that is going to give you 29 minus 25, which is 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what they did here was they basically took this expression here, uh, the square root of 29 minus 5, and they multiplied by 1. They multiplied by the square root of 29 plus 5 over the square root of 29 plus 5, which is 1. That's going to give you 29 minus 25, which is 4. Boom, Ramanujan style, right? So the, the work is missing, right? So how do you know that? Well, you just have to know math, right? It's like, ah. So the fact that he's able to do that in his head or with the pencil, I think shows a lot. Shows that the dude had some serious skills, right? Ramanujan was no joke. I think, in my opinion, he's like the coolest mathematician. I, I, I don't know. And I, again, it's just because... He just grinded it out, right? Like if someone is hardcore, it's going to be Ramanujan, right? If you're going to say, this is a, 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 I don't want to use the word, I don't know if I can say badass on YouTube, but I mean, he is, he was a badass mathematician, right? I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous. This is how he learned. This is how he learned. Just a book of results. What's this? The series of which the general term is, look at this. Well, lambda of n signifies log of n. Oh, wow. Lambda squared of n signifies the log of the log of n. So it's like function compositions. Wow. Wow, where do you even learn this stuff, right? Like, where do you even see math like this? Certainly not in, you know, you go to college and you take your algebra classes and you take your trig classes. You're not going to see stuff like this. You're going to just, you're just going to see the basic stuff that's taught to everyone. And they teach you math and it's, it's because it's been made easier, right? So it's because it's made and it's taught in a way that Let's normal people progress. But Ramanujan was not a normal person, right? He was not, I mean, he was a human being, but he was not like everybody else, obviously. He had an entirely different work ethic, I think. People might say, oh, he was just gifted, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care how smart you are. I feel like you have to really put in a serious amount of effort to learn this stuff. Oh, this is cool. You've probably seen this. Look at this. Some of the powers of the terms of an arithmetic, arith, arithmetical progression. So this is something you um, learn um, in basic math classes, like in pre-calc. When I've taught pre-calc in, in the past, I've taught it. And there's, there's fun little proofs you can give for this and stuff. Then you have this one and this one. These are used also in calculus. If, so if you take calculus one in college and you do problems where you like find the um, definite integral using um, the definition, um, you have limits where you have to find the limits 
of these expressions because uh, you have these sums and then you write the sums uh, this way and then you take the limit of these quantities here. All these limits exist. As n goes to infinity, you get answers for all of these. So, Yeah, pretty cool, right? Oh, here we go. This is geometric. That one there, right? That's pretty cool. Polygonal numbers. Wow. Just, just, it just never ends. It's just so much math. It's kind of a fun book. You can just, I feel like I can just sit here for hours and just like flip through this book. Oh, for Matt's theorem. Just tons of knowledge in this book. So it's kind of a fun book. There's Wilson's theorem. You learn these things in uh, number theory, sometimes in abstract algebra if, you, if they're covered. But actually, yeah, this, this was in my, um, it's in some abstract algebra books. You see this. But it's really number theory stuff. So yeah, it's just a lot of mathematics. Determinants. It just goes on and on and on. Anyways, I just thought I would, oh, trig, trig, trig. Wow. But yeah, interesting book. Um, well, let's read this, this is fun. I love when it says stuff like this. This book has been considered by academ academicians and scholars of great significance and value to literature. This forms a part of the knowledge base for future generations. So the book is never forgotten. We have represented this book in a print format as the same form as, as it was originally first published. Hence, any marks or annotations seen are left intentionally to preserve its true nature. I love this stuff. I love how they have things like this that are considered of historical significance and they put them in this place. It's called the public domain and they're free for everyone. And I think it's important. I think it's important to have things like this. I love how they leave the marks. Like if you see marks in here, it's because it's an actual reprint. It's one of the fun things about collecting old books. You know, you get old books and I don't know, it's like their history, right? This is a piece of history here. It's a piece of history that's been reprinted and is now sold on Amazon. So because it's hard to get the originals, you know, some inequalities here. Look at this. Let X be positive. The log of one plus X is less than X. Interesting. If, if X be positive and greater than one, then we have this. Some inequalities. Huh. Yeah. All, all kinds of stuff, right? All kinds of stuff that you just don't see. So, anyways, random video on the legendary Ramanujan. I feel like I've talked about this book before, but I was just um, thinking about him for some reason. I got an email and someone was asking me something. And I was like, oh yeah, Ramanujan. So I thought, oh, let me make this video. But yeah. Yeah, amazing, right? What an amazing man. Just, he learned with this book. It's just shocking to me. Shocking. If you want to learn mathematics, uh, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the uh, Udemy platform, but if you decide you uh, want a course, uh, please use the links uh, from my website because it helps me. Also, I lowered the prices on all of my courses to make them as low as possible. So when you click the links on my website, it'll take you to Udemy, but I, I'm pretty sure you'll get the lowest possible price. I'm pretty sure because I lowered it to the bare minimum. Uh, what else? Oh, if you want to subscribe, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to. If you found any value and you want to subscribe for more content. Uh, if you want, subscribe. If not, that's cool too. And if you take anything... Oh, and I'll leave a link uh, to the book in the description of this video. And if you take anything away from this video, it should be that Ramanujan was a legend, right? The man was a legend. I mean... To me, people say he was, oh, he was just really smart, he was a genius, but I think it's more than that. I'm not a lot of smart people, and there are people who are scary smart, but like, I don't know, it's hard to believe that he could just pick this up and just like effortlessly work through it. I think he put in a ridiculous amount of effort, and I think that that's not emphasized. We don't know. No one really knows how smart he was. You can't really measure that. All you can see are the results that he, he produced. You can go on Wikipedia, you can read about him, you can see this book, and you can think, oh my god, this is insane. How did he learn all this using just this book? And I think it shows that with effort, you can do anything. Because I, I imagine, like, he just had to put in so much work. It had to be his entire life. It's like he poured everything into mathematics. And I think that's how he was able to learn so much. He just, he just gave it 100%. And I think that's the lesson that we can all take away from here, uh, from this video, is that if you work really hard, you know, I, I think you can do anything. Anyways, until next time, keep doing mathematics.